my party porter house. So today I'm not doing a DIY or am I making any dishes. I am doing a Dollar General haul. Like, oh, I just love dollar stores. And I know that that sounds very ridiculous to love dollar stores, but I like finding good deals for a dollar. Now, I am guilty. I went to, guilty of not clipping coupons because I do like to save money and I do like to ball on a budget. However, and I do have three different households to buy for, which is the daycare, my home, and my church. So I do have three different, three different homes or locations that I have to um, purchase for. However, I've been to several coupon classes. I've also um, made the attempt to meet up with a, an excellent coupon lady and she showed me what to do. I have a cousin that does coupon clipping and I, I don't know, I'm just not with the coupons. <laughs> so, What's easy for me, and I know that sounds terrible because I keep hearing, I, I feel so bad about it because they keep telling me, you are throwing money away when you're throwing away coupons. And then when I look at those coupon hauls and oh, it's like one day, Lord, I aspire to be the coupon clipper. But until then, I'm gonna be happy with spending that $1 and getting a good deal for a dollar. So I went to the Dollar General. Do not go to sleep on Dollar General because Dollar General Oh, and let me say this, all, all Dollar Generals are not created the same. Like, they're different buyers for different Dollar Generals. So, maybe at this Dollar General, they'll have a lot of something, and then at this one, they'll have something else. So, they're never alike. So, it's always good to go shopping in, in all of them. So, I spent $38, which is very good, and I got a lot of good deals, and I'm going back because... I really like what I got. So let me run through what I have. And I have my receipt so you can see. I spent exactly $38.37. So we'll do a close up of that. But let me tell you some of the finds. Okay, of course I always get something sweet. So I got these candies for a dollar. Um, gummy worms. Um, I got some m &Ms. I mean, I know you're not excited about that, but these baskets, these baskets were $10 and this, there's two and one. Aren't these the cutest? You can put these in your closet. You can put them in your office store, just, you know, scarves, whatever you want to store in that. You know, it could be either or. And then I got these cute bathroom cups. Like these are disposable. These are so cute. These are um, 50 cups for a dollar. I think these, and let me tell you, the quality of these cups, like I have purchased um, the little tiny cups like this in bulk, and those cups are so cheaply made, but these got a little, you know, sturdiness to them. So I, I really like that. And then like when I have my godchild come over, I get these little, um, you know, because he's a boy. So I got these right here. I thought these were so cute. These were the, um, oh, I can't even get this open. But you get it. You know, the. I want to look at, hold on, let me look at this. Why is this so hard to open? Okay. All right. Aren't these cute? Look at that. And, and again, they have some sturdiness to them because I purchased the ones, you know, in bulk from other places, and, and those cups are flimsy. And then you got um, the toothpaste. Yes, the toothpaste at Walmart can be two something or three dollars, but look at this. You get a nice size, and this is the kid kind, bubblegum flavor, which they love. And then that way, and I have a lot of little people come over to my house, a lot of big people come over to my house to spend the night from time to time. And it's good to give everybody their own personal toothpaste and you cannot go wrong with a dollar. Like when I see something for a dollar, I just look at, that's, just, that's free to me. Like they're giving that away. So a hundred pennies, that's good. Got these little wipes to go in the car. These are antibacterial. I also like these is because they have aloe and then they're kind of, they're kind of sturdy and strong too. And then um, you need these like, you know, just to keep your hands clean. Like when you pump gas and stuff, for me personally. I have um, 
a lot of these because I work in daycare, so whenever kids need their hands clean, you know, sticky icky, these are great. And then I like that they're personalized. Like, who doesn't love the Care Bears? So I thought that was cute. These straws, these straws are just awesome. Like, y'all, this is a great deal because at Walmart they have a pack of straws for like $1.78. These have a hundred count and these are sturdy straws. Like, let me tell you, I love a straw. And then you can get them little cheap ones, but these right here, these are tough. They're, you know, they're round. These look, this is cute for like, if you're doing like a luau, like a Hawaii party. Um, oh yeah, these are perfect. Okay. And they're nice and colorful too. I like that. So I got these sturdy cups. I'm not a big um, coffee drinker, but I do like hot tea. Um, these are good because they have the lid on it and then you get five cups, you know, this is cute. This is cute to give someone. So I'm going to give these away. And then, you know, I got me a treat, M&Ms. I got these baskets, they're two for a dollar. That is a $10. But, um, I want to use these for um, organization at the daycare when I can put like little play plastic food in it. This is going to be so cute and colorful to go on the shelf. So I got that. And then I got this antibacterial soap. Now this one, um, I like that it's um, perfect for kids. Um, it's not a name brand, but I think that um, I like that it has the amount in this. And then I like this pump because sometimes you can get the pumps the little cute um, emoji pumps are, are nice, but sometimes those kind of default. And I like this pump. This is a nice sturdy pump. So this, this was a good buy. Now, this right here, this is the stainless steel cleaner and polish. This is by, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. I think it's called Wyman. Anyway, I saw this on um, one of the YouTube videos. YouTubers I watch. I can't remember her name. But anyway, that's this is a very good cleaning um, uh, brand. Um, but it was just a dollar. So I like I had to try it out. But um, this is good for cleaning stainless steel. I haven't used it yet. So I don't know how it is, but I'm going to try it. But I couldn't go wrong with a dollar. And then these are just adorbs. Like I love this. Like, you know, since you have to clean, you might as well enjoy it. And the detergents that I've gotten before, you know, the real big, big ones, you know, it kind of hurt my wrist because, you know, I'm washing dishes for, you know, I have to wash dishes at the church. I wash dishes at daycare and I wash dishes home. And I like these little ones because I like that they don't overwhelm your sink. And I also like this because it has baking soda and lime. Now, anything that has an, um, has lime or like a citrus or, or orange, like, um, fruity um, fragrance in it that is like a natural disinfectant and baking soda is a good natural disinfectant so I got like just three of these but I'm going to go back I think I'm going to go back and get some more of those and then I love this one you don't see this one in the larger size but this is almond milk and blueberry scent I just love the way this smells like oh gosh this smells so good like I love blueberries and I think that whenever you are washing dishes you should just have a moment like enjoy it so um you know get some dish detergent because i mean it sucks that you have to wash the dishes anyway so you might as well enjoy doing it now this um hand soap this is tea tree hand soap most times whenever i have very sensitive skin so whenever i'm using an unnamed brand uh soap hand soap you know, it kind of breaks my hands out. But this one, y'all, this one is everything. This is tea tree. You cannot go wrong with tea tree. Tea tree oil is good for everything. I can't even sit here and tell you all the good things that it's good for. But I know one thing that my skin is super sensitive and it really, it has a good um, texture to it. It's not like a really like cheap, you know how you get dollar store soaps and they're really cheap. But this one is not so cheap. This one has like, you know, you, it feels good on your hands. It smells good and look at the quantity I mean this is a dollar like come on and then I saw this brand I saw this brand on um I think it was um I don't know if it was Instagram it was one of the um, social medias that I was that I was looking at and I was like oh my goodness they have this at Dollar General so I had to get it and what is it oh 
tea tree oil is a natural germ remover. So tea tree oil is good for a lot of things, but here it is in the soap. You can't go wrong. You know I got three of those, but I'm going back to get some more of those. Now this right here, this is some really good stuff. Like it is in a cute little, I love when products are like reduced in small bottles because like myself, like I'll buy three little bleaches instead of getting a real big one because you know, you have to lift that heavy thing and then I'm lifting it and putting it down and lifting it and putting it down and then my wrist is hurting. But I like this one. This has a nice lemon scent and it's antibacterial. And I can tell you a way to save on your dish detergent instead of always just pouring dish detergent. Or if you have children like mine who think they just ought to pour the dish detergent down the drain and before you halfway through the week, half the bottle's gone. Well, this one, you can just leave this little sprayer up there on the sink and let, you know, just get them to spray their dishes. I'm saying like we got one or two things and then rinse. This is a good disinfectant. I love the way it cleans your stove. It really did do a good job on cleaning my stove stove not so much um i would say getting getting the um grease it, it did get the grease stains out but it did got a, it when i had sprayed it and let it sit it got a lot of the guck around the eyes and and you just have to let it sit but yeah this this is some good stuff mean green is a good product anyway so with this lemon scent yes you you can't go wrong with it i bought three of those and I need to go back and get some more. So I'm going back to get a tea tree oil net. I hope they're still there when I get there. Now, I thought this was really cute. This is a small spray pump hydro hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide, like when I do, I'm going to do a cleaning channel on hydrogen, clean, I mean, a cleaning um, um, episode. I don't know what you call it, but I want to show you about how to clean with hydrogen peroxide. One thing I love that it's a very strong disinfectant. But I love about it also that it doesn't have that overwhelming smell. And you know that the um, cleaning companies are getting hip to the hydrogen peroxide. You notice you're seeing hydrogen peroxide in um, spray bottles and things and cleaning um, agents because it really is a good disinfectant. Every time everyone keeps saying bleach, bleach, bleach. But sometimes people... Um, you know, they can't take the overwhelming fumes from bleach. But this one right here, I thought it was so cute because it's a little spray bottle. And I sometimes like to, um, it's good to just like, say for instance, like you get a little cut or bruise, you can just spray it and it doesn't burn. That's one thing I like about peroxide. It, it may sting just a tad, but not as much. And then sometimes like you can um, spray your toothbrush to disinfect it. You know, after you finish brushing your teeth, it's good to spray it with the um, hydrogen peroxide. It helps disinfected and you know just let it air dry and your toothbrush is good for the next um, day and it keeps the germs away another thing I like about hydrogen peroxide um it's not good possibly to just um you know um, keep it or I would say um use it as mouthwash every night but it does brighten your teeth really quick so sorry sorry that's my phone anyway just ignore that Either my phone or one of my family members' phone in the house. I got these candies. I don't know how much these candies were. Were these a dollar? I didn't mean to get these for a dollar if they were. They should have been like 50 cents. Anywho. Yeah, I got these. Got me a little pack of Tic Tacs. Um, oh, you all, these are so cute. Aren't these cute for summer? These were just a dollar piece. Now, if you go to Walmart, Walmart has this same type of um, plastic cup, but I think they're like $2. No, 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 that's not Walmart, that's not Walmart. Big Lots, Big Lot has has these for um, $2 a piece, but these are so cute. Like we know they're not gonna last long, but they're cute, you know, for the summertime, invite guests over. So, in all, cha -ching, this came to be $38 and 37 cents so that is not bad you know I think that was pretty good and then I'm gonna go back and get some of these items and these items you know they last you a long time plus they're good um like giveaway you know like Mother's Day is coming up you can do like a little hand soap basket or um you know you can do a little cleaning basket um, per people who like coffee or tea these hot cups stick it in a little basket like I'm thinking I'm going to use this as a gift just put some items in here. Say for instance, you know, you personalize it for that person, whatever they like. 
and you can just give them give them this as a gift. So thank you for watching. I know that I just ran through all of this, but do not sleep on the dollar stores, especially Dollar General. And I love all dollar stores. And also remember, all dollar stores are not created equal. Whereas in saying there are different buyers for different stores, so just, you know, go look in all of them. And if you don't want to do that, just keep looking at my channel because I'm going to take you all on some of my shopping trips. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming to the Party Porterhouse channel. Please come back. Oh, oh, I forgot to give you an inspiration. Your mistakes do not define you. So, that's all in the same. Your mistakes do not define who you are. Do not hate me because I'm not perfect. Do not hate me because I made a mistake. Just pray for me and let's just keep it moving. So pray for me as I will pray for you. Love you. Peace out. Bye.